This is the first cave we're entering. Like, this is the first, like, like indoor event, right? Everything else has been, like, big winding things. Also, welcome back, travelers. <laughs> oh. Mm. Okay. This is cool. Well, this is odd. Doors light the way through the cave of God. Could this be madly attempting to obstruct us? Yes! <laughs> I knew it. Either way, there's no need for concern. I know my route and I'll conduct us safely. Boo! No darkness, no foul weather will delay us. Onward we roll. I feel like this pose should have a mirror component. Take care not to come uncoupled from me. Oh, it's train puns. It gets depressing once he starts to get back more of his memories. I recall faintly that I had a partner once. Precious one. Oh, it's happening now. Its name escapes me, but I remember that it wielded flames with mastery. If only if it were here, I'm sure it would light the way, luring us onward. I forget what Ingo and Emmett's partner Pokemon were. Please forgive the unscheduled stop. I love that. I detect an alpha crowbat to our right. Okay, I don't know if something like that is present, but I'll check someone so competent as you. You're in the point of visibility. I propose a track change in the interest of safety. Please follow me. Take care not to come uncoupled from me. I am very, very closely coupled to you. Don't make me really look like me. Aww. Oh no, the words are like winning more than anything else flashed through my mind just now. And it's the Wayward Cave. Yeah. We'll soon be arriving at Wayward Cave's exit. Even if the memories themselves have faded, it appears much still lives in my heart. You know, he's remembering his brother. Oh my gosh. Are there gibbles in here? This is fine yeah. progress for nearly home free. Wait, could those be? Oh wow. He straight up took down the torches. They put the torches back where they belong. The torches can be fearless for the next person to pass through. Okay, Quicksilver. I beg your pardon for the delay. I've lit and returned the <coughs> torches. My safety concerns have been addressed. Ready for departure. Choo choo. If you follow the track marked by torches, you'll reach the terminus of the cave. Just gotta pay one mana if it's your first draw of the turn. I get it. Put all the Pokemon on the bottom of the pile. The Peter pile. The Peter pile picked a pick of pickle peppers. Are you okay? You took my Jesus fish. <laughs> it's from Saint. <laughs> okay. Professor Lavender told me how you fell to this land from the sky. Must be quite the tumble. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in Hisuri, a region whose name I'd never heard. All I can remember was my own name. I was still standing there in bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural affinity for taming Pokemon, which I eventually became a warden. But still, I wonder what my true purpose is here. Mon. Ah, oh, but now I've sidetracked us with this duck. Let's hurry onward. Chugga, chugga. Okay, which way, which way, which way? This way. Okay, there's just Goldux. Irrelevant. Whee! I love that I can do that. I love that I can just go in the water now. It's a game changer. It is. It, it literally. literally is. It literally is. It has changed all of my mobility, and like you just told me, I'm, oh, look, another alpha. Why are there, uh, what is the point of having multiple alphas of the same species in different areas? A melon. What's the big idea? Putting back all the torches I spent ages tidying away. Do you get some sort of amusement from stomping around ruining people's noble deeds? Oh! Running a game impossible to people who venture inside on seems noble to me! Yeah! <laughs> well, this just goes to show that even we wardens don't even see eye to eye. I extinguished those lights for the sake of the Pokemon in the cave who prefer the dark. Dirk. But now you love to put my efforts to waste. If you think I'll let you saunter ahead to meet a Lord Electrode, you're sorely mistaken. Only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner Pokemon. Is it going to be a psychic type? Slowbro. It's going to be Slowbro. I will beat him. He's a pushover. I don't even know what he has, and he's a pushover. Skuntank? Silent but deadly? Did he really just say silent but deadly? 
Isn't that what Jupiter said? Is it? Because Jupiter has this gun tank. And she based her... I know she based one of the lines around her skun tank. All I know is it was a fart joke. Yes, Ricky. <laughs> For the skunk. Yes. Yo, Jimbo's getting pumped. That's right. Pump, pump the jam. Pump it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, Jimbo's please. getting decked. Yeah, yo, Jimbo's not going to make it. Ah! Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. I anticipated this. Did you? Sure. <laughs> Katsumi! I haven't seen a fight. Oh, you're right. Well, also you keep sending in things that are weak to poison. Yeah, uh, you know what? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> it kind of does. It's no. why we're getting decked by poison. Yeah, look, but because the things you send in are weak. Notice how it's to still, poison. It's still been defeated. Yeah, so's your Jimbo. But your Jimbo's the weakest of my mons. That's not a Growlithe. He's weaker than Munchlax. Listen here, neither I nor Skun Tank admit defeat just yet. Our challenge to you still stands. However, I will withdraw to afford Scud and Tank time to recover. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. It's more of an advance if you think about it. Keep your guard up. We'll be back. Hmm. Interesting. What a lively character. Yeah. My sideburns are poking me in the eyes. <laughs> I cannot fathom what a Melly's intentions, but for us now, let us press up. This is cool. An ancient quarry. Okay. Okay. This is the ancient quarry. Is this a cycling road? The stones used to build a temple atop this mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans or Pokemon working as worn by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. The stones that were left behind should serve to cover from the gazes of wild Pokemon. Ah, there you are, Ingo. I can go. I can go. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was such a missed opportunity. Oh my gosh, that was such a missed opportunity. <laughs> you could have made him Ringo. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask about that memory loss of yours. Have you considered that it could have somehow been caused by the space-time rift? I have no cause to think the rift is to blame. This is my real voice. But then again, I hardly remember a thing, including my original voice, which if at any point in the future we see Ingo, maybe I'll remember it. Ricky. So it's difficult to say with certainty. I can't remember my own home, nor my family if I had any. Maybe a twin. So you might do better to pose your questions every year, I think, if it's to do with that rift. It's like, I remember everything. I'm a Sinner Champion. Yeah, really. Indeed. Well, I do hope your memories return, Warden Ingo. Me too. How about you then, Ryuk? Who are you? <laughs> Do you remember what you saw before you fell out of that rift? Was there anything inside? Yes, I saw literally the creator of all things. Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever is on that other side of that rift is causing the strange lightning that plagues us. Really? Indeed. I did some digging and found out records indicating that the same space-time rift also appeared in Hisui in the distant past. That's why we had a name for it as it appeared, in fact. Now, what kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side of the rift? My guess is that it's almighty Sinnoh's realm. But then that begs the question, why is the space-time rift reopen and when it closed once so long ago? And why would Ryuk have fallen through to us? Hmm. I fervently hope you have enough of this mystery, Vala. Good job pronouncing your vocabulary words. Thank you. I'm sure with these people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. And while you investigate, sir, I'll continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. You weirdo. Why are you looking at Oh, I am a mere admirer of ruins. What? What? <laughs> a little more. <laughs> if something needs investigating, then I would entrust that task to Ryuk. Until next time, then. Are you going to try to sell me anything? What kind of salesman are you? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Once with three, it'll be just a little further. Let us move at speed, not haste. But not taste. You can't attack the moment you come in. Oh my gosh, the bronze on! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you would never expect to be able to climb such sheer cliffs as these, yes? Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? Bro, a sneezler is an ally, it becomes the work of a moment. 
She is so at home in a cliff face, one might think she knew some secret. Some. <gasps> H.M. Hmm. What, what is H.M. shirt for? What do I say? Hidden moves? No, no such things in his suey yet. Yet I feel as though I was on the cusp of remembering something cusp. just now. Anyway, she can use rock climb to hit the HMO8. Wait, no, that's waterfall. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just who I was I before I came to Huasui. Huasui. Huasui! <laughs> if you fell from the sky, you come from another world. You get most likely, perhaps, before my battle with you would jog this memory loose. Would you honor me with the battle, Ryuk? If I have to do it against Slingster, I might as well. Yes. Good. All aboard! My joke, prepare for departure. Interesting. Oh, I guess he'd be fighting time. Interesting that he uses a Pokeball. Well, he said he was good at taming them. Yeah. And he was more natural with Pokeballs. He probably just got some from the Diamond... Or from the... He saw them and was like, oh, I know how to use this. He just intuitively could do it. Yeah, probably got him from Galactic. Just like, what's that you're using? Why is all my Pokeball? stuff I everything? knew it. Because you're a goon. Why him. are you setting up? Because... If he tries to hit me, I die. <laughs> That's why you hit him so he doesn't exist. He's level 41. I'm 56. See, by being obscure... That's why you don't set up! <laughs> That's why you don't have a B! <laughs> Look, everything's fine. Everything's fine! He's still posing! <laughs> <laughs> he is! Oh my god! He's doing his black and white thing! Because how the trainers had the wait, can static I? idle animation. No, you can't pose with him. Mike poses with me! <laughs> oh, he's got three! Yes. Oh! Well, that's good I set up. Is it... Glacier? Agile! Oh, I'm gonna ice type move this guy so hard. Except, you With know. What? I, I was gonna say, except, you know, I don't have an ice type move. See, now he's obscured. See how, see how useful that is? Hydro pump. Yeah, I had a feeling. <sighs> no! Why? Goldie, no! Goldie. Why, Goldie? Why do you have to do you like that, Golder? Okay, so basically, I'm in a bad pickle. Um, yeah, let's use Katsui, right? No, Katsui! Let's reach the ground. Munch is probably our best bet. If he hit, depending on how hard he hits me, I can get an impact and just end him. Or I can roll out and try to get a boost. Ouch. Okay, roll is, roll is not going to do enough. Roll out, pull out, oh out. Okay, good. He's got none. I wonder what Rolly's up to. They're probably eating boo. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna Giga Impact. Strong Giga Impact. Oh, yeah. Ooh. There's no way it's not gonna be a strong one. <laughs> <laughs> He's so happy. Look at that. That is why Munchlax is on the team. <laughs> Munchlax pulls its weight. It's a lot of weight. It's a ton of weight. Look at him. Look at this big old boy. Is that really your last guy? You were just training him, weren't you? Energy ball. That might take him out. Nah. No? Okay. Nah. But he's got... Yeah, I was going to say he's got the extra moves because Giga Impact, essentially. Plus the strong. Yeah. Okay. Cleavor! Cleavor! Let's go, Cleavor! You can do it, Cleavor! Oh, oh yeah. yes. Oh, yes. x -scissor. x -scissor. Strong x -scissor. Let's go. Cleaver. Oh my gosh, he's beautiful. Look, oh my gosh, yes. He's so powerful that he swings like this with his axe, and it causes an X to appear. <laughs> now heal my Pokemon, you goon. Bravo! Excellent. Are you still upset that he's not a beetle? Yeah. <laughs> Noel Talon has brought you to the destination called Victory. <laughs> Call me wacko. Okay. Now allow me to call Sneasler. How bad uh, 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 could I be? <laughs> I also like the idea that both Sneasels technically exist in this world. Mm -hmm. 
Well, they don't. One's in a space time rift. Yeah, but you're able to access them. Like, you don't have access to other variants. That's the only one you can get the access to. I know. I'd love an actual Lilligan. Well, you see, here's the thing. That other Lilligan is trash. That other Lilligan's amazing. Allow me to introduce you, Ryuk. This King Club Pokemon is Sneasling. She's beautiful. I love her. Would you be so kind to play your flute for her to hear? Good job. Now you can do it. Okay, you can stop now. <laughs> I knew you were going to do it twice. Okay, cool. At the start of this session... Oh, a touch plate, thanks. At the start of the session, I had a single weird ear. I can now travel all across the land. And Searching search far and yeah, wide. Exactly. Amazing. All aboard. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. You're in a little basket. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's hilarious. Try it out. Okay, so do I just climb up? Like slam into it? Yep. Oh, I had to... Oh! Oh. She's so happy. This changes my entire life. Oh yeah, my gosh. Life got pretty easy. Yeah, wow. Oh, my eyes! Yeah. But with that, we're going to go ahead and catch you guys next time with the Moonview Arena. It'll be a whole new session with a brand new attitude. Don't miss it. Ricky has a lot to do. Oh my gosh, this is so good. So, uh, yeah. Next time, we're probably going to have level 100s. Go figure. I mean, I want to say 100s. Maybe 80s. <gasps> Kibble. And an alpha bite. Oh, snip. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going uh, I'm to go. Bye, guys. I'm going to head out.